get you a larger shelter. There was one in there. <laughs> it looks like a chicken or a turkey. Why are the flamingos still unhappy? Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Daisy Space. Today, we are going to do another video playing games from my childhood. Because you guys enjoyed Zoo Tycoon so much, I'm going to go ahead and do a part two of that video. So if that sounds interesting to you, then make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so here we are back at the zoo. The reason that you're seeing a bunch of new additions to the zoo is because I attempted to film this video before and my entire footage and audio and everything was, was messed up. <laughs> so I am just doing this again, but I'll, I'll kind of show you guys some footage of that uh, video. Basically, I ended up adding uh, like an elephant ride along with some elephants. I also added some sea lions and a Japanese garden along with a restaurant. I also added some more um, restrooms because apparently everybody in this game uses the restroom ridiculously. <laughs> and then I also added some flamingos. We also a, re a really awesome encounter with Santa Claus himself. Previously, we were in December of year one and as the game always does during holidays, if you can possibly get a glimpse of it, you can see little characters flying by. I think in October they do like a witch, because it's like Halloween, but anyways, it was really exciting. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. I am so happy that you're here. I could not believe the love that I got on my last video. If you've not checked it out, I did a reaction to some 60s, 1960s commercials. I was like blown away by the love that that video got, so I'm so excited for all of you that are new and welcome to the family. For those of you who have not checked that video out, make sure you check it out. I will leave it in the clickable i button over there. And if you've not checked out our first part of this video of Zoo Tycoon, then make sure you also check that out. Without further ado, that was like the longest intro ever. <laughs> Let's continue playing. Oh my goodness. There are so many lions. I tell you, they procreate like nobody's business. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sell some of them. I know lion eight is not happy. I'm trying. Sell lion number five. Oops. Lion number five. Yeah. $300. And we'll sell line number six. Goodbye. I'm gonna go ahead and sell Lindsay. And I'll name you Lindsay 2. That way we have another Lindsay. So as you can see, I also updated the sidewalks because I got that sidewalk unlocked. These guys look like they might need some more space as well. Oh yeah, also our leopards aren't happy because I still don't have a toy unlocked for them and they're viciously upset about it. <laughs> they're like children! Adding some more sand and some dirt. Some dirt. Uh, what else? Not enough shelters. Okay, well I'm going to just get you a larger shelter. There was one in there! <laughs> That's creepy. Wow. I've never seen what it looks like. It looks like a chicken! Or a turkey! <laughs> well, I'm so sorry that I just demolished your shelter while you were sleeping in it, but it is what it is. I'll get you guys a larger one! Our animal theater is doing amazingly. I kinda wanna raise it a dollar. Man, I need more trash cans! I might make another food place, like somewhere else, because this is ridiculous. <laughs> hey! Where are all of my dudes? Come here. You need to fix this fence. Where are you going? Oh good. <laughs> good job. What's your name? Jeff. Good job, Jeff. Maybe I will add another little food court over here. This time I'm not going to try and do anything fancy because if you guys remember last episode, I tried to make a pit of some sort <laughs> to try to make it look fancy and it just failed at life. So 
not working the way that I want it to. Darn it! Did I need to just do like one? Darn it! Ugh, whatever. Now we need some tables. This is not big enough. I'm just gonna make this entire thing bigger. Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! This just doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah. Get some railing going. So this is what I mean when I say that I am not good at decorating. I seriously am like, what is happening right now? <laughs> By the way, a few of my favorite games I learned over the weekend that they don't work on my computer because my computer is too new for the technology of the game. So that made me sad. <laughs> so I'm hoping I can, I'm going to be able to film more of these types of videos where I can play like older games. Hopefully I can figure out a solution as to why it won't work, but we'll see. So I'm going to add another pizza place and a burger place, and an ice cream place, and a hot dog place, and a drink place. Ooh, I could add a merry-go-round! Yeah! Ooh, that's so fun! Man, I have not been on a, a merry-go-round or a carousel in a very long time. There we go, Oh, that's so fun, okay. I love the sound effects of this game, man. Oh no! I need trash cans! There we are, darlings. Ooh, this would be a good place to put a fountain. Maybe like an elephant fountain? Or this turtle fountain? So I know that like, they came out with like a Zoo Tycoon 2. And when I got it, because I, I did receive it for like Christmas one year, but our computer at the time was like too old. So, and it didn't have enough space on it, which we just didn't realize whenever we bought it. Let me know in the comments if you guys ever played Zoo Tycoon 2 and if it's worth playing. Because if I can get my hands on it, I think that would be really cool. We can kind of compare and contrast the differences. I don't know if anyone's actually gonna sit in this tool space, but we'll see. <laughs> I know if I were here, I would sit there because it's really pretty. Flamingo is not happy, why? You're fine. I don't understand. Well, suited. I don't understand. Is it because of the poop? Maybe he'll go clean up the poop for you. Oh, yep, it's the poop. Sometimes when uh, their pin gets too full of poop, they get unhappy. It makes sense. I probably would too. I think we have a nice little space to eat now. Hopefully it doesn't take too much away from this space. Okay, let's go ahead and make another animal. We could get a giraffe. Yeah. Giraffe. <laughs> it's a giraffe. <laughs> Why are the flamingos still unhappy? I don't understand. You know, I kind of feel like whenever it says like, the zookeeper's having trouble getting to blah blah blah, and I go check on it and it's like totally fine and accessible, maybe they're just trying to get out of work. I know you guys like you. Then you need a giraffe shelter. Nice, well suited. So let me know in the comments, I'm curious. What is your favorite animal to see at the zoo? I would say mine is probably lions or elephants or or the sea lions. <laughs> That's because sea lions. Oh no, my penguin died. Oh no, I only have one penguin and one zebra. Okay, I'll get you a new one. There we are. If you won't tell me why, I don't know what to do. What's wrong with you? Are you sick? Oh no, you're just sleeping. <laughs> it just looks kind of dead in there. <laughs> Camille! I got it. Chad. Chad, go help Camille. Camille is very sick. Oh no. Okay, he's got it. Good job, Chad. All right, let's go ahead and add another animal. Let's get a chimpanzee. Grass 
not enough dirt, not enough rainforest floor, not enough shelters. Uh, needs more foliage, not enough shelters, and would like its void. You guys like these kind of trees. I also enjoy seeing monkeys at the zoo, including um, gorillas. I just feel like they have so much character. With like a toy. Good thing I have one. <laughs> Put it like here. Oh, they want more animals. Uh, that's a good reason to have babies. <laughs> oh no, Flamingo Man is ill. Hey, Chad. Chad, my main man. Go in there. Good job, Chad. I thought it was gonna continue. How's the restaurant? Holy cow! This restaurant is is has a profit of thirteen thousand dollars. Maybe I should like raise the prices for literally all of my uh, restaurants. How are these doing? Four thousand, four thousand, six thousand, two thousand, six hundred. Wow, five dollars to ride a carousel. That's a little bit ridiculous. Are some of these like just too far away for you guys, because there is trash everywhere. People are lazy. Fine, I will put some in the middle. Even though it looks like trash. Get it. <laughs> Our zoo is getting pretty big, actually. Maybe I should start adding stuff over here. What else kind of animal do we want? Ooh, uh, we could do a polar bear. Let's do a polar bear over here. Polar bear. <laughs> Sounds like a fart. Too much snow, not enough salt water, not enough shelters. Okay, how much salt water do you want? A lot of salt water. I can put a snowy rock. Highest quality exhibits. And I got the silver certificate award. Yeah. Except I didn't get any money, which is kind of sucky, but it's okay. There you are. Not enough snow, too much salt water. Way to be picky. We got some polar bears and they are cute. I also added, <laughs> I almost forgot about this. I added a compost building over here in the corner because, oh my goodness. I named a guest Sally. I don't think our guest named Sally is still here. But like this girl, she was wandering around in the middle of nowhere. So I felt really bad and so I decided to add a few little drink and snack machines and like a place to sit down. But apparently like people out here don't even like go over there to get stuff. And as I suspected, these are in the hole because nobody's buying anything. I might delete it because there's no point in having it. Is this lady about to go get something? Oh, snap! Wait. I guess they could technically make it back down here. My question is, why even walk all the way over here? But yeah, this compost building, it actually makes us $13,000 in profit because we sell compost to gardeners which is just a massive thumbs up from me. Something a little bit about myself. I really enjoy gardening and my husband and I did do some composting for a bit and it was very satisfying. It's just such a cool thing to do so you're not wasting as much. I don't know, I guess I'll just leave this here for now. <laughs> Nobody is sitting in my little space with the fountain. Wow, this is a popular joint. <laughs> well, we currently have 791 guests two of which are unhappy. What's wrong with you? You don't know why. And you're just like about to die over here because you won't go get a snack from the vending machine. I'm gonna name you Sally Two. <laughs> All right guys, well, I think I'm gonna call it for this episode. But if you enjoyed that, then make sure you hit the like button before you go. And if you're new and you enjoy what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Also comment below and let me know how you guys are doing. And again, welcome to all the new subscribers. I'm so happy that you're here and I'm super excited for you guys to be part of this family. So with that, I hope you guys have a blessed week and I will see you in my next video.